Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome back to another update. So the big story to today's update is that we are going to be taking a trip and traveling back in time now in order to try to do a flashback and talk now all about the world of unemployment because I do know it has been a little bit of a while since we've talked about unemployment. I believe it probably might have been even by now about two months, maybe even longer. The last time we talked about it, it was basically where we left off is, it was really about how there were several proposals such as like the AOC proposal, the Wyden bill. It's a very old video. Maybe I'll put it at the very, very end screen, but I think today's video is probably going to be much more relevant. And the big idea really what ended up happening is, is because the world of unemployment really did actually end up getting relatively quiet. And I think the real big story to what really happened was because there were just so many things that ended up popping up that it ended up just taking even greater priority. Everything such as like the child tax credit, fourth stimulus checks, the Russia-Ukraine war, things related to what happened in Congress with Biden, everything in that world and inflation, you know, the economy, everything about that. And it's because of that, sadly, unemployment did end up taking a little bit of a back seat to everything that had ended up happening. But the big news is, is that in today's update, I do wanna do a little bit of a trip back through memory lane and talk a little bit about unemployment but specifically talking about the first part is how we are doing just as a country as a whole so if you guys miss these unemployment updates then today is what it's really going to be for and then I want to talk about maybe just certain things that are actually very very much still happening with unemployment because even though it has been relatively quiet compared to certainly where we were at a couple months ago there are still things that are happening however a little bit of a heads up is is that most of the things happening are very very state and local level or happening on a very state and local level. But with that being said, I do still think it's very, very insightful and actually very interesting because a lot of the stuff that's happening right now is really about trying to find creative ways to still try to offer certain programs about people that are still unemployed, which I think is the, still the really, really great news. Of course, as always, we're gonna jump right into it. And it's hopefully gonna make a lot of sense as we travel through this. So as always, we're gonna get started, but real fast, 10 really, really quick seconds. As always, the same exact drill. Remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for videos similar like this. Huge love if you guys have been here for a while, especially if you guys have been here for like a true, true while since like, you know, where this whole thing started because most of this channel was really built off of just talking about unemployment programs in general. But of course, as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly, just really anything, maybe just even any, maybe even just how everyone is doing right now. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So we're gonna start by talking a little bit about how unemployment is doing just as a country as a whole collectively. Because the big idea really is that right now in Congress, what they currently see the unemployment situation like admittedly, just objectively speaking, is that they do see it as something that is getting better. Now obviously the numbers are a little bit skewed because sadly of course a lot of unemployment programs did end up ending. So there are many people that are no longer on unemployment programs but are technically still unemployed but not necessarily a part of the number however with that being said is it is very well known that there are also many many people that genuinely really did go back to work and according to congress what they have reported is that the unemployment numbers are actually one of the lowest that they've ever been in quite a while. Now, of course, again, they are a little bit you know, skewed, but it is just what they've officially reported that the numbers for the most recent week that we have, I believe it came out that about 184,000 people filed for unemployment. So again, for a maybe huge flashback perspective is, is that during the height of the pandemic, we had about 1 million, <laughs> 1 million people file for unemployment every single week. I mean, that's enough to basically put together a nation. Imagine a nation, or maybe in the nation, but certainly a city, where every single person in that city went unemployed, or every single person in a city went unemployed every single week. And that was basically the peak of the pandemic. But right now we have it where 
about 184,000 people filed in the most recent report, which is talking about the week ending around April 16th, so pretty much the middle of April. And this is actually the lowest number of people that we've seen file for unemployment, I believe since about February 21st, 1970. So it has been basically over 50 years. This is a new, a brand new low. And however, we do note one thing though is, is that every single week for the last like month or two, it has stabilized right around 180 to 200,000 unemployment claims. So it is actually very, very consistent right now. There's not really a massive rise, but there is not necessarily a massive dip as well. Now, in terms of certain actual stimulus-related unemployment programs, right now at this current time, it has actually been relatively quiet when it comes to unemployment on a very, very big federal level. However, the very, very good news is that we do actually have certain programs that are happening on a very, very local and state level. So we're just going to talk through them. Again, if I don't get to your state, it probably means that it's relatively quiet at this time. Definitely stay tuned because we hopefully hope to maybe share for other states if they do end up coming out. And I think at the end of the day, even if it's not currently in your state, it is still maybe relatively insightful because many of these programs are actually very creative ones. For example, we talked about how there's now an emergency unemployment fund program that's going on. It's a proposal, but it is something that's being talked about right now. We talked about in the last video, which I'll put once again at the very, very end screen, probably also on the bottom. It's literally just called New Released Emergency Unemployment Fund. It's a very special creative program talks all about it uh, but the first state that we're really going to talk about is going to be in Colorado so the story with Colorado is that there is now a new bill going on there in order to try to provide 600 million dollars worth of state unemployment benefits and what's really really cool about this is, is that it was actually created by bipartisan lawmakers in order to try to increase the amount of unemployment and open eligibility for more people so what are some examples of people that might now actually qualify but did not originally qualify would be immigrant families or just simply put people that originally found it difficult can hopefully now get onto unemployment of course this is really talking about something that is really going to apply to just the traditional unemployment program essentially if you were over there and you try to reapply or maybe you try to apply as a fresh applicant for unemployment, a lot of people over there, what they would have gotten like, you know, off of the traditional unemployment, they can now get a booster for it and receive even more money. Now, how much money it's still you know, to be determined because it actually really varies across person to person, but they are giving them specifically about $600 million. So it is definitely a lot of money. You know, say for example, someone that previously would have gotten maybe $400 per week, now they can potentially get five or even $600 per week. And this definitely is something that really, really does add up. Of course, that's just for one state. Um, but the next state that we're really going to talk about is going to be traveling a little bit more east towards the coast near Kentucky. So in Kentucky, the story right now is that they actually interestingly just approved two bills however within the senate so it's not it has been approved but only within the senate so it still has to gain it hasn't been completely approved per se but it is actually interestingly now on the actual road to approval where there are now two bills that are going on there the first is really about trying to give breaks with unemployment to businesses so what this is 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 that essentially many unemployment programs sometimes the companies that you work for might have to collect a certain amount of money for it. But what this is, is that it's going to help a lot of companies or a lot of businesses to support unemployment programs better. So that's really the key benefit. And the second actually is something kind of related to unemployment, but it's a little bit more creative. And what it is, is, is that it's not necessarily to provide unemployment benefits, but what it is, is, is that they're trying to create a program to improve just work job hunting resources. So what this is, is that essentially is that if you end up unemployed in the state of Kentucky, they're going to be trying to create you some of that money to first off physically create jobs to encourage people to get employed, but to also create job and employment 
employment related programs to essentially give training and everything to actually encourage and help people to actually physically go and find work. So maybe not necessarily to get unemployment benefits. We really, really wish, of course, you know, they, those programs will still exist there, but more to try to get encourage people to escape unemployment. And then the last state that we're really going to talk about now is going to be traveling back, I guess, to the west and now south again to the state of Oklahoma. So Oklahoma is another state that is very interestingly, they also actually interestingly just approved their own program, but on the Senate level. So it's not completely official, but it is on the road of approval and it's already been pretty much half approved. What they really want to focus on doing, interestingly, is trying to end unemployment taxes. So if you guys remember how back then, you maybe comment down below if you guys remember, we had a program where, you know, everyone who got on unemployment had to pay taxes on it. Some people got it taken out ahead of time. Some people had to pay later. But thankfully, they ended up approving the $10,200 unemployment tax cut so that now it increased the amount that people received in the sense that people didn't have to pay taxes. And for many people, they were talking about a couple thousand dollars. So this is talking about basically like saving about a couple thousand dollars worth of a stimulus check inside of our bank accounts, which is a very major, major thing when you're really trying to live off the dollar. So the goal of what, what this bill that they recently approved there is going to be about is that first off is that they want to improve the actual unemployment systems. So if you guys remember, and again, feel free to share any stories, many people went through things like delays, backlogs, customer service, all sorts of things, which is funny because, you know, we were talking about them being understaffed, but they happen to be an unemployment office, but they're somehow just understaffed. So many question why they don't just maybe hire some of the people that you know come to them for unemployment services but you know i mean that's just that's just you know what it is um but the big idea is that they want to improve the actual unemployment systems they also want to create again job hunting programs very similar to kentucky and then they want to probably most of all that's most relevant to us is that they want to reduce the amount that people get taxed or even more better than that is is that they just want to take out taxes on unemployment completely so in an indirect way it is actually like getting both an unemployment boost and a stimulus check if this actually physically ends up going through and i think that's the really really beautiful thing because it really was a massive lifesaver for a lot of people um but really beyond that is is that i think for now those are going to be the three big states that we're really going to cover in today's update. The big idea is that there are a lot of creative things that they are doing right now, even if it's not through traditional like the PUA, PUC, FPUC, LWA related programs. Let's see how many people can recognize and still remember these acronyms because there really were just that many of the Fed, IDB and so many different things. But hopefully as we get more information, at least there's something that's going on and hopefully there's more, even more, that we can potentially share. But if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, maybe comment something down below. It's always great to say hi to new, you know, familiar faces. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, remember to smash the like button if you guys haven't done so. Subscribe, consider hitting the bell for similar videos. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well. So great to see you guys again. And have a great start to the new month if you're watching this on release date and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.